Hey guys, it's Techify here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom recovery, in this case, Twerp 2.7, on your Kindle Fire HD. Um, this should work on literally all versions. I'm on 7.5.1, as you can see, and this is the latest. So, let's get into this. <laughs> So guys, to do this, you're going to have to download these four files onto your device, and you're also going to have to be rooted, as I am here. Um, I have a video on how to do that, I'll link that in the description. Also going to need a file browser of your choice, I'm going to be using ES File Explorer, it's my favourite. So like I said, you need these four files, and you'll see fireflash.apk. Click that and you'll see this if you're on ES, press install, make sure you've got installation from unknown sources of applications um, enabled, you should have that if you've seen my rooted video. So you want to install this app and open it up. So we just need to grant that and it for some reason has not opened properly so I'll just go into device and open this up so here it is um, lots of things on here but what you're going to do to install a custom recovery is follow these steps so you must tick that if you don't tick that it's the end of it so then it will say boot partition and then you tap not flashed and you scroll down to wherever you have it downloaded and make sure it's Kindle KFHD7 dash freedom dash boot 7.4.6 dot image. I know we're not on 7.4.6, but you do need to do that. And this is because, um, yep, you just do. Okay. Then it says apply stack override. You need to do that as well. Moving on, it says recovery partition. Once again, tap not flashed. This time, you want to get the one and tap the one that says, let me just realign that that says um, Kindle Fire HD 7 twerp 2.7.00 recovery and tap that and make sure you tick this box this is stopping um, twerp getting removed when your device updates I found this to be a big problem because your Kindle will straight away try and remove twerp as soon as you go back into um, the system and it can cause issues so they should all be done like that and you want to go down it says execute tap the top one which is flash install script and it will do flashing and it will this is now um, flashing the boot image recovery image and everything we need so make sure this is all done which it is so press OK and then there we go, we have custom recovery, we can tap reboot into recovery, so this is how to reboot into recovery, you just tap reboot into recovery from any app, and in a moment I will show you how to boot into recovery from a powered off state. So, as you'll see it goes blue after the normal Kindle fire, um, it will do this anyway even if you're not booting into recovery, however if you are, you'll see this. And you'll get team win. So, one, this is twerp. Welcome. First things first, I'd utmost recommend doing a backup when you first enter twerp. Um, I'm not going to do that because, um, yeah, I don't need to. Then you can just restore it from there. And obviously, you have all your wipe install and everything. So, um, obviously, the time you might want to change it if you're that bothered. But that's fine. So. I'm just going to power off for now because to boot into recovery from a powered off state you want to tap the power button to turn it on as normal but as soon as you see Kindle Fire you need to hold volume up and wait till it goes blue once it's gone blue wait a second then let go of the volume button I know it's hard to tell it looks blue but it is 
So once that has gone blue in a moment, we'll be back in recovery. And once again, you can do everything. So if you've um, if your device is not booting up properly and it's stuck in a boot loop, you should still be able to boot into recovery using that. So finally, just go reboot and tap system and you'll be back. Or you can power off and just tap the power button and wait for it to power up normally. So I'll be back in a moment once this thing's all powered up. So guys, my device is all turned back on. And as you can see, there's obviously no changes. Um, Fire Flash is a really helpful app to keep, but it's not like a requirement. Um, so yeah, um, be very careful when installing the custom recovery. Um, just if you have any problems, let me know. However, I can't take responsibility. Um, also, before we end this video, I'd like to say a huge thanks for all the support my channel's been getting. I've had loads of you subscribing, liking, and commenting, but, um, just saying thanks, or asking for help, and I've been responding. So, thank you so much for that. Thank you guys for watching, and if you're new here, subscribe, and anyway, just hit the like button. If you have any feedback, feel free to let me know. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.